Um, I think, and this is certainly what happened in Concord, that it can happen if you have one wealthy, charismatic guy. And that was Ralph Waldo Emerson. And he used his money, it was actually his first wife's money, and he used it to buy a big house in Concord and invite people. He invited the Alcotts, he invited Hawthorne, he invited everybody who needed money, who he thought Thoreau, who he thought had literary talent. And um, so that's, you know, out of this genius, genius cluster uh, come a lot of examples of this, uh, the way great books happen by accident. So I'm just going to talk about two of them, I guess. There's so many. Um, one, uh, one is, uh, I'm going to start with Thoreau and then end with Thoreau. So Henry David Thoreau, as you all know, in 1845, went to Walden Pond and built a little hut and lived in it for two years. Um, now, Thoreau didn't have in mind that he would write about that experience. In fact, he didn't even have in mind that he would do that. He really didn't have anywhere else to go. He had been living at the Emerson's house. Emerson was abroad. And the Emerson children and Lydia and Emerson loved Thoreau. They just loved him. He, you know, was playful. He was handy. All the things that Emerson wasn't. So when Emerson came back from Europe, the house suddenly felt very small because there were two heads of household. And so Emerson said to Thoreau, you've got to find somewhere else to live. And Thoreau said, I don't have anywhere else to live. And Emerson said, well, I've bought this woodlot on Walden Pond. You go out there and build yourself something. So Thoreau decided that he would do that in order to write a book about his brother who had died tragically. So he was going to go to Walden and write about his brother. And that's what he did. He went to Walden, built the hut with the help of Bronson Alcott and some other people, moved in, and started to write about going on a river trip with his brother. But of course, he kept a journal. But he never dreamed that that journal should be a book. And what happened was, after he'd been there about a year, he was invited to come and speak about the book he was writing at the Concord uh, Lyceum. So he went to speak about it, and there's this big audience, just like you all, and he speaks about this book, and everybody's like, yeah, 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 yeah. And then in the Q&A, everybody says, what's it like living in a hut at Walden Pond? That's all anybody wants to know about. And at that point, quite by accident, Thoreau thinks, oh, maybe I should write a book about living in Walden Pond. But again, it's a complete accident. Another great example of this, or really my favorite example, is the example of Louisa May Alcott. 